Hello, ladies, gents, and nostalgia baited old heads. Is there a better twin stick shooter that entered the gungeon? It doesn't exist. Put it in the comments, please, if you have something that even comes close to this absolute excellence of Enter the Gungeon, the, in my opinion, absolute best twin stick shooter of all time. There is nothing that is better than this. Let's do a nostalgia run on my 100% save file. Absolutely everything is unlocked. Went through 100 plus episodes on the channel. It's all, all there if you want to find it. So much, so much Enter the Gungeon. And I only stopped playing it because I 100% of the game, but how could I just keep playing? You know, it's so, it's so good. It is, like I said, the best twin stick shooter that I can possibly come up with. And easily in the top 10, even top 5 roguelikes of all time. It is excellent. So anyway, we're going to just go in and just enjoy it. Of course, I have turbo mode enabled. I have every single thing you can possibly unlock. It is difficult video game. So, you know, I don't even expect to win. I've not, I've not played it. I've not played it at all. I, I'm probably going to struggle remembering controls. But, oh, didn't mean to throw you that Molotov. I pressed the button. As I said, I'm going to... I'm going to forget what controls are. I mistakenly press down the use item button. So, so you know, it's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen now and then. Make sure to bind the controller because I've, unfortunately, I have reinstalled Windows since then. I have formatted the, you know, changed hardware pretty drastically since the last time that I played into the Gungeon. Thing I like about the fugitive is how you get that uh, extra weapon from the really brother. This is why you give me the secret room. What a piece of garbage! Uh, you get a shotgun to discover secret rooms without having to find a gun anywhere. Very nice. Anyway, the controls I did have to rebind them, so hopefully I will not forget what I'm supposed to use. I would like to have an extra gun for the boss fight. But it's really not a necessary item for the fugitive. Is that her name? The fugitive. Either way, the prisoner, the escapee, the ooh, the spicy lady. Ooh. Either way, it's not necessary. She has plenty of firepower to obliterate the first boss. I have zero illusions that I'm going to be able to get. Sure, why not? Save it for later, baby. Um to get my, uh, what were they called? Champion shells, whatever the, it was actually the name of it. When you aced a boss fight, did not take any damage. Let's see. Shoot over there. I will get this garbage out of the way. Actually, we can use it to block the, the barrel. There you go. Just shove it against the door, please. I mean, the wall. There you are. And now off you go. And into the fireplace. And then you... There you are. That's the secret switch. It gives you access to trash land if you get two quee two quees. We need two quees to open that door. It's a that trap door. I just roll straight into a bird. And this bird pick my eyeballs off my head. And of course I got damaged even more because I am foolish. And I am bad at video games. Unfortunately, we get two ass trash garbage. Terrible chests. I'm not even gonna open them. We're going to destroy them. Get a free key for no reason. Love it. Let's check out the shop. See what it's got. See what it's got. I've been slowly working during my lunches at home. This is so good. This is so good. During my lunches at home, I've been watching The Boys. And people have been saying, oh, the new season is kind of ass. It's just garbage. I have no idea what people are talking about. Like, very obviously, they upped the shock value. And it's kind of it's kind of cringe that the way that they... Like, they're so obviously upping the shock value for the sake of it. Like, they're trying to outdo themselves, right? 
Like, this is literally a scam, what I just did. Grab the money and then you get 20 shells. So basically you get 10 free shells for just a little bit of vampire pain. So very nice, very nice, there you go. I am unlikely to need all of this health, but we'll be back and make some more money after the boss fight. Hopefully the boss will not just outright kill me. <laughs> but honestly, the new season of The Boys is like, it's it's good. It's the same as it's always been. Just uh, shock for the heck of it. And people were saying like, oh, the politics are too much. Like, you're taking things way too seriously, buddy. Way too seriously. All the idiots that get pissed off because The Boys was... Uh, making fun of them in a politi political uh, uh, realm. Wow, right away take that bullet straight to the head. Just destroy my illusions right away. Make sure that I had no hope whatsoever of getting the ace. I am so damn ashamed of myself. I am barely a video gamer. Here, eat some Molotov roasted bird for me. It just, uh, funny found it funky I, I mean i haven't finished it maybe it gets way way worse but honestly has been holy crap the bird is actually gonna kill me <laughs> this is so pathetic oh this is pathetic i just haven't done this in a long time don't judge me for my incompetence you too would succumb to the incredible might of the minigun bird after you haven't touched end of the gungeon for a couple years? Question mark? That's still in vogue, right? Saying question mark at the end of sentences that you're not unsure, you're not sure of. Pretty sure that has not gotten old and, and, and stale and awful. Uh, and uh, loathsome. At least we got a little bit of money. And we got the Phoenix, which is ass, but we're going to use it a little bit. Unfortunately, I was unable to get more health to get more money. This is a direct exchange. Another key. I have four keys, brother. Let's open this chest because I am so flush with keys. Sure, there's no ballers. Okay, I guess. It's okay. That is an okay weapon. And of course, we have the keys, so might as well. I'm so rich. Is there really nothing to, nothing to buy that is not ass? I guess I'll get this because I need every bit of help that I can possibly get. And since we're going to trash land... Let's um, let's spend a little bit of money. Open that up. Open that up. Off we go. I am gonna try to kill the rat, but uh, like the rest of the run. Oh, oh! <laughs> I rolled straight into the. <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid the damage, buddy. Just trying to avoid the damage. Uh, like the rest of the run, I have no illusions that I'm actually going to be successful. This is probably a very good boss weapon. Not very good good against regular mooks. Let me just use the Phoenix. Set my enemies on fire! Oh yeah. It's like the mustaches that we set on fire. In Spelunky HD. Freaking mushroom boys. Trash land is not trivial. All these monsters, it's like a big combination of all the different enemies that you can get later. Some, some advanced patterns being uh, utilized against me. Please. Where's the last enemy? Turo mode makes Enter the Gungeon so much more fun. Like the based. The based. Uh, what the? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, the based speed is good. Turbo mode. Makes into the gungeon an absolute riot. It does put the game slightly above my skill threshold of what I can reliably excel at. Turbo mode guarantees there's going to be some losses along the way, a lot of really needless damage. Oh, yeah, ignite the chemicals, murder them all. We're just going to use up this Phoenix. It is possibly my worst weapon right now. Uh, not like I have any good weapons. It really doesn't matter. Oh, I was like, what was that? It's just the <laughs> it's just the barrel being tumbled. That's all that it is. Oh. I am serious though in my request of 
if you have any suggestions of twin stick shooters that can possibly rival Enter the Gungeon. I would love to see it. And I feel like the entire roguelike genre kind of gave up on this type of game because they were like, just like um, uh, Crypt of the Necker Dancer. People with rhythm games that are like, Crypt of the Necker Dancer exists. Why would I make a roguelike rhythm game when the best that ever could exist has already been made? I could not top it. Why even try? I think I feel like Enter the Gungeon is the same thing for this genre. It is such an outstanding, outstanding experience. We need the knife shield. That would be great. I am broke though. It is pretty sad. Mm, we need the money. We'll reserve judgment for now. We'll reserve judgment. I will buy the glass goon stone. You might think that that's like the least worth thing, but anything that protects me from damage that is cheap, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I was actually re I was ready. Oh, that comes back. Uh, I was ready to dodge, but I was just not fast enough. Turbo mode is too turbo for me. Maybe I should. You know, I should just go back. I should go back to the shop, get myself the health. I feel like it's so easy to lose this one heart that I have with just one bad room. I will be destroyed so easily. Please explode. I, I implore you. Let's do that. I am too much of a chicken shit. And we're also going to bite my knife shield. And a little bit of... Also, a little bit of mm, curse. That's always good. Just having one point of curse is good. Let's hope that we can loop around and not have to go through this trap that I am liable to suffer damage as. Suffer damage at. Because I am an incompetent buffoon. Let's go back here. And uh, I should probably always have knife shield enabled or active. Or maybe not because oh, there's no reason to go up there uh it does get used up in barrels which you know was obviously bad you never really want to throw it i don't think you should always you should ever throw the knife shield it is primarily a defensive item but if you use it again if you enable it again you can actually throw all these knives on your enemy very helpful like so, like so. I, I actually pressed the wrong button. Don't know if you can tell that I pressed the dumbass wrong button. Oh, you scumbag. You may not escape, you filthy buffer. You trash garbage. We don't need a, a maze in trash land. I say it will give you absolutely nothing. This is just a shotgun here. Hey, very nice, very nice. Thank you, thank you down here. Such a long uh, a long string of levels. Knife shield almost enabled. There we are. Just need to get used to again to, to how I've remapped, remapped the keys. I feel like I did it better. I, I have a better key setup than I did before. Basically, I'm using my thumb buttons for my mouse. Didn't realize that thing was still alive. Not a mimic, not a secret. This is the place. Do I want to use this as a play a thing, way to open the? Yeah, we'll open this. Uh, open the secret room, or do I want to use it just as protection from the boss? Let's just use it. Uh, just be lofty with our ambitions. What the hell kind of weapon is this? I should have realized that I didn't have the shotgun anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it slows down the enemy. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, oh, oh. The knives have been destroyed by the incredible action of a stray bullet. I'm liking this weapon quite a lot. It feels like it's a very good boss weapon. Let me uh, go back to the shotgun here. Obliterate! Obliterate! Oh, yeah. We could use some ammunition. We got a lot of ammunition to start with and then 
it is nowhere to be found. Same old story. There used to be way before Enter the Gungeon was a completed product. I mean, it was a 1.0, but uh, there were so many balanced patches after that. Used to be on the original version, resources were so stingy. Still, they feel sometimes like you just get so unlucky, you just don't get anything. But uh, it is so much better than it used to be. Used to get hardly anything at all. Ammunition was so hard to come by. Everything was so stingy. Very happy that they changed it. They listened to the fan base like, your game is so much fun, it will be so much more fun if I could actually use all the weapons that you give me instead of constantly being scrounging for ammunition. I'm barely getting by with the health. They upped the drop rate of all of those things. At least ammunition. I'm not sure if they dropped the up the drop rate of health. But they certainly made it uh, possible so you can save the health for later. As opposed to uh, take it or leave it. Because in, if it into the gungeon, if you leave something on the floor, the rat will steal it from you. A piece of scum that he is. Hey, there's the boss fight. Probably should just go through the boss, right? Actually, there's just nothing else to be done. There is one other place, and there is a chest at the end of that one. Let's go that way. Why am I so broke? I've barely bought anything. I appreciate it. I told you. I told you I would take damage like a, a buffoon. And I took also damage from the fire. That was very upsetting. Thankfully, we get a frozen heart. Heart device. It's cold. Very nice. Very nice. Did I already find the secret room? I don't think I did. Um, I don't trust myself not getting killed by the Mega Blob. But we're going to go in anyway. Let's uh, try to freeze it, like, go back and forth between freezing it, slowing it down, and then switching. That's not the weapon I wanted. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Of course, we want nothing but defensive capabilities out of these knives. Stop these horrendous monsters from murdering me. Thankfully, in boss fights, uh, the active item gets replenished quite quickly. That. Well, there's a, that's it. That's the ammunition for that weapon. Barely have any more, honestly, against this boy, this squishy boy. I really could afford to just, ooh, to just use my pistol, but I refuse. It's, it's just boring. I'd rather just use the weapons that I get, even if it's a waste of ammunition. The game is so much more fun when you use your arsenal, even, and, you know, just, just YOLO. Hopefully I'll get ammunition, hopefully. Ah! Filthy blob. Destroy you. Right, you don't get killed by simple rolling, huh? Bye. He half a heart and a shield. No ammunition whatsoever. The Vorpal gun is okay. Really could I use a blank in one of those situations where I got murdered, almost. There's nothing here. You guys know the drill. You get to the point. Hey, secret room. If you get to the end of a level, what the freaking hell you just do? <laughs> hey, there's some health. The baseball bat is garbage. But uh, I'll take the curse. I like curse. Get two, three points of curse. It's nice. So anyway, I have only 44 shells. I am extremely unlikely. What? Let's come back. No, 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 I don't mean to, I mean to shoot. My bad. Let's uh, give this our empty guns. You, we'll get back a uh, full gun. That is one way to get ammunition. These are low tier weapons, unfortunately, so we're not going to get something amazing. It's just a wind up gun, which is okay, I guess. 
We found the secret room. I am 100% unlikely, uh, guaranteed not to be able to get to the uh, next secret level. Because I am bad and I don't deserve it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we'll just carry this blank for as long as we can. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the way that you access the next secret level is... I mean, the ba baseball bat, you can attack enemies, yes. But the main use is to shoot back bullets. And it's trash. I'm not fond of it whatsoever. Man, all these are just terrible. There was a wheel... I think this... No, this is my Amonomicon. Uh, out? Hey, there you go. You can reorder weapons. I don't remember how you did it, though. You can reorder the, the, the order in which the weapons are, but whatever. Doesn't matter. You just roll with the Vorpal gun, I guess. This is not the Vorpal gun. This is a crossbow. Yep. Die, die a million deaths. I guess we'll just deplete it. Uh, you're supposed to... The more empty guns you carry, the more likely you are. The more likely you are to get a ammo drop. I'm carrying like 70 empty guns. So here's a, here's me hoping for some uh, freaking ammunition instead of having to use the freaking wind up gun. Let's see a Vorpal gun. Mm. Let's see if it works. It just, just shoot and then sometimes it will. Shoot a very good bullet. That's basically what it does. And it has uh, infinite fire range. I mean, fire range, but also fire... What the hell? Oh, that was the Vorpal bullet. Um, fire rate. You can, as, uh, It shoots as fast as you click it. Or I guess pull the trigger, press the button. If you're playing with a controller like a scrub place into the gungeon with a controller only absolute trash buffoons i hate everything and i hate the fact that i just got hit i don't think that was warranted i just basically got ambushed by scum and i did not deserve the humiliation there went my passage there went my passage into the secret nice we got the buffer right away very nice very nice uh, we'll no longer be able to go to the castle, I think it was. Get murdered. I think it's an insta-kill bullet, right? It's not really explosive. It just... Whoa! Those enemies! It just uh, makes short work of the one enemy you're shooting at. Don't quote me on that. So it's probably a really good boss weapon. Because it does extra damage to bosses. With that mega bullet. So let's just use the wind-up gun. And then the weasel went pop. There were guts everywhere. Uh, not a mimic. <laughs> you really need to appreciate the. I'm in to see this. <laughs> not use the blank. Idiot! Um, we appreciate the brown chests because even though they are likely to drop garbage you know what else they drop health points and i'm somehow at full health i don't know how that happened i feel like i've been taking 70 points of damage per second just collecting the enemy shots straight to my mouth okay so we need to be able to afford this for 115 we're almost there man wolf will be great but and the ammunition as well, but uh, here I am, trying to go for broke. Trying to get that key that is the first step on a quest chain I have completely forgotten. So probably I'll get the key and then forget where to use it. <laughs> there is a, like a secret room. Who? There's a secret room somewhere in level 3, I believe. The place with all the, all the frozen nonsense. We have popped the weasel once again. At least we get lots of ammunition when they want that gun. Why not go in there? What's the worst that can happen? I guess we're going to try that theory that the Vorpal gun is going to be a good boss killer. 
All right, this is a boss that I have killed a bajillion times without suffering damage. So I am very extremely likely to suffer damage in the first seven seconds. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Vorpal me. And there it is. I think it's like you saw you saw the animation of the roll, didn't you? I feel like you did. Okay, that one I definitely earned. But the first point of damage that I just took, I feel like I definitely, I absolutely did not deserve it. It's like I was already inside of the roll animation and I got damaged anyway. So, you know, not, not a winning run. Especially if I'm trying to go to, to hell or anything like that. It makes my life so much harder not to get a single ace on these bosses. You don't know how Enter the Gungeon works. If you ace the boss, take no damage. You get an extra hard container. Thankfully, though, we've been finding hard containers without having to work at it. So, so good. Might as well deplete this gun. Shooting at a few walls, trying to find that secret room. Get a little bit extra chances of getting an ammo drop, which, by the way, I would like you to point out. I would like you to understand, see for yourself zero ammo drops in the entirety of the run so far. I'm pretty sure there has been literally none. With the exception of the one at the very start that I did not need, I think. Yeah, there was one. There was one that I did not need. I mean, there is lots of keys. Oh, this is very good. But we're getting a little high up there with the curse. How about... Oh, it would be awesome to find a, one of those shops where you can drop off and sell items that would be so great but unfortunately no great for me we need a great to be great cannot be great until we find a great murder there you go, there you go. anyway i'm going to blame turbo mode for every single one of my points of damage even though in standard mode i will still be damaged quite a lot very nice very nice give me a passive military training hold facing the enemy i forget what that does once again, I've used the, <laughs> the blankets that are going to the inventory. What does this do? Does this do again? Memories of your years of training. Better reload speeds and weapon accuracy. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. We just used a blank here, so let's continue exploring. We want as much cash as possible since I'm going to be spending all my money on a disturbing, stupid ass gnarled key to be able to find the lair of the rat. So, unfortunately. I just don't have enough cash to afford anything else. Yeah, 21, huh? Not even the ammo. It's fine. I'm doing fine with ammo. I don't need your stinking, stupid ass ammo. Ammunitions for fools. Just give me new guns. I'll just hot swap as I traverse these damn bullet infested lands. Do not shoot those explosives at me. Ooh. Just poking out of cover. In and out, weaving, keeping my head on a swivel. Ooh. You, you die, you die now. Carry on. So, what we're looking for here, I think it's here, is for the secret room leading to the rat's lair. There is a hidden Ooh. trap door. Ooh. That scumbag almost got me. There's a hidden trap door. The wind-up gun is so shit. <laughs> That's the best I can do right now. Eh, ammunition, it exists. All right, what do we want to replenish? I think it's either the Vorpal gun or the crossbow. Let's go for it. And we're going to leave that for a boss fight. And let's use the... Like, we're carrying this and it's a bunch of curse. Let's actually freaking use it. Whee! Oop. Oop. And what this... Ooh. Two keys? Must get it! Don't disappear, you scumlord! The other one! It's gone! <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful free key. I suffered two points of damage chasing the keys like a mad lad. So not worth it. Stop! Stop rolling into damage, you absolute idiot. The Axe Man, I think that's what it, this weapon is called. Uh, you reflect. Oh, it did it. It shields you, right? It's supposed to. 
Oh, it only destroys. I thought it was reflecting. But it destroys the bullets when you uh, reload. Okay, okay. We, are, we used to be amazing at this. We used to be the greatest of all time. That is the way I remember it anyway. In true jumpsuit. We used to be the greatest at this. I see no reason why we wouldn't be. I just made a mistake. I needed to use the reflection to kill that thing. And that would have allowed me... Yeah. Okay, we actually needed to destroy... We have like two more bullets, okay? With that being able to destroy this... See, now I am blocked. There's no way I can reach that scum lord. Oh well, we can destroy at least... At least one more. There, line that perfectly straight. There you go, that's good. And obviously now I, c I can like do like a Hail Mary kind of shot, but... Oh, baby! <laughs> that was uh, the greatest shot of all time! Mmm, the poggers are pouring out of my ears. That was such a great shot, and this is ass. <laughs> this is part of a gun. This is not a full gun! <laughs> Okay, hopefully we can find the rest somewhere. I mean, it does do a lot of damage there. That was uh, basically one shot, one kill. Very nice. Possibly, again, a uh, boss weapon. Let's just go back to the axe. The Huntsman, that's what it's called, not the Huntsman. The Huntsman is very good. It's a very good... It's a very good working man's weapon. It will get you through every single room in the game. Has nice utility when you reload. Does decent damage. Like, just good. Bog standard. Weapon. Fond of it. We're going to use it until it's depleted. Yeah, more keys. Nice. You guys see any, uh, any rats on the floor? Okay, what do we want to replenish now? I guess the Vorpal gun. There you go. It was a decent boss kill. It was okay. I wasn't like super impressed. Alright. Well, nothing else to be seen here. Thing is, I don't I really don't remember whether the rat trap. What was this again? I think this gives you ammunition, right? Gives you ammunition for cheap. Sawed off. I don't want to replenish that. Mm. It's only worth it, is it? Pull it back. This is a reference to Nuclear Throne. You aren't aware of what the hell this is supposed to be. Nuclear Throne is basically like the the progenitor of Enter the Gungeon. And if you were to say in the comments a rogue like that gets close to enter the gungeon, that will be Nuclear Throne. And it wears its influence on its sleeve. This is basically Nuclear Throne plus plus. It is uh, a great improvement on the formula. Nuclear Throne, a little bit more fast paced, even more fast paced than this. Which is hard to even believe. Turbo mode, I mean, it's very comparable. Turbo mode, enter the gungeon to Nuclear Throne. Nuclear Throne, though, I feel like it's even more... Like, it's so skill-dependent. <laughs> you need... You need some serious Twin Sticker shot... Uh, chops... To be able to... Win... At Nuclear Throne. I think I've won maybe... 1 in 20. And that feels extremely generous to say. It is such a difficult video game. Please die. Please die a million deaths. Cursed enemies, my nemesis. Perhaps I am carrying a few too many cursed items. I will get rid of this baseball bat at the first opportunity. Please, you fiery scum lord, stop running so wildly. Let's go to the shop. Even though I am broke, it maybe give me some dreams, some ambitions. Zombie bullets. Moon scraper, a little bit of health. A great, give me a great, give me a great. No great, it's just another <laughs> freaking room. 
I'm almost certain. Quite possible. The rat trap is in this level. I might go out and look it up. There's the boss fight. Uh, at this re this level is like you don't want to go into the boss fight with only two hearts. You will just die. So let's hope I can maybe. Hey, there's some rats. Oh, right, here's where, where we need to go. And I don't, I don't even remember. It's like uh, an extra level that you just drop and you go to another level. Or I think it's just something you unlock. You go in there, you spend your keys. <laughs> you go in there, you spend your keys. You get the item and you get back. Either way, we're not going in there until we're done. There's the place. Yeah, 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 use drop. Use drop and uh, move on with your life. Clearly, you want to fight. That's another mimic. Hmm, probably use this. Pow! Oh! Ah! Well, missing these shots is not good. <laughs> what you got? It's coffee. Shining coffee. Speed up! Because that was just not fast enough, I guess. Ooh. Frost amulet. Full metal jacket. Gold amulet. I am broke! There is no affording any of that nonsense. Let's carry on with our lives. Uh, this is almost depleted, right? We're gonna have to switch weapons in the middle of the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Just kind of had to roll into that. This I was cornered by my own stupidity. Uh, I guess... Point of gun, that is just painful. Point of gun is painful. What was that roll, buddy? What was that roll? If there is a criticism I can level at Enter the Gungeon, losing in a non-boss fight feels so bad. It feels as bad... Holy crap. It feels as bad... I mean, I'm gonna I'm die. I'm gonna just die. Woo! Feels as bad as uh, dying in a regular standard room in Binding of Isaac. It's like... At least have the boss kill you. That is acceptable. Dying in some random mook ass garbage area. What a humiliation. This just goes back to the start, huh? Uh, clearly, we can't go there. That's what we're gonna do. There was an ammunition shrine. Uh, clearly, for the huntsman. It makes a million points of sense. There you go. Bullet drop. Okay. It did not give me a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Um, I think, I guess it increases the chance of getting an ammo drop. I had a complete misconception of what that was supposed to be. Uh, I, I'm, this is the level of sadness that I am at. We are buying half a heart. That is what we just did. Makes me terribly, terribly sad. Do I even want to do this boss fight? Maybe I should just drop here and hope for the best. Because I'll just lose. I'm making an ex executive decision. We're going down. Oh, okay. You go back. <laughs> Never mind. I was hoping. And that's right. You need to use a freaking blank here. And the knife shield is borking out big time. But you cannot handle this. Silly cart process. Why am I carrying an empty gun? Uh, I guess we'll use the crossbow. Huh? And then you need a what? Yet another blank, right? Yeah, that's just so expensive to get in here. And then you go down to the rat lair. We're not equipped. We're not equipped for the rat lair. Ah, shit. I forget what this was. Uh, you needed... I have the items, right? I have the items. Let's just drop down. Um, to figure out... You needed to figure out the maze. Didn't it start with a little bit of health? I could have sworn it did. Uh, you go to the Ammonomicon. That was a blank. <laughs> <laughs> the Ammonomicon 
Shit, man, I don't even remember. Let me let me figure it out. There was a, a list of of rat there you go. And then you go to the order of this. Let me write it down. Where's my pen? My kingdom for a pen. Let's see. It's up. I used to have a a paper with this sequence written down because I never memorized it. Up left right down right down down right down up left right down right down i need to like as we complete the places i need to mark it down or i will completely forget that i was in a certain place all right well wish me luck i got one heart and it's beaten as hard as you can imagine. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Please. Yeah, this zombie man. Uh, this is a terrible weapon. This is a terrible weapon to be trying to kill these monsters. There's something. There you go. A little bit higher fire rate. Being able to spread out these guns. These gunshots. Whoa. Almost there, almost there. Kill the little monster. There you go. This dumb lord actually shut up. Okay, mark down. Up. Now we have to go left. Reload, reload. And these rooms are no slouch. They are not easy. I mean, that was, but. <laughs> Still took damage though. Okay, now we go right. Some of them can just be atrocious. They can be just awful. Oh, you're not dead. I thought the Vorpal shot murdered you, but your cursed condition is too powerful. Too powerful. Die already, <laughs> please. Woo. There, are you done? Holy crap, it's not over. There's another curse, come lord. Oh. oh, those warpole shots really landing though. I think it's based completely on how much curse you have. Oh, <laughs> a health drop. Okay, uh, that's left. Now it's down. Oh, yo, oh, that's cheap. Oh, that's so cheap. That's so disgustingly cheap. I hate you. I hate everything about you. <laughs> and I accept my demise. Enter the gungeon as fun as I remember it.